So this one is uh, classified uh, paper six of chemistry. And uh, the things which you have to memorize are given in first 10 pages. You have to learn the apparatus. You have to learn how different gases can be collected, the test for the gases, different gases. Then what is the effect of adding sodium hydroxide in excess and a small amount? Same thing, what is the effect of adding ammonia solution or ammonium hydroxide in excess or in small amount? You have to memorize these tables. Test for the negative ions are there and then the pH is universal indicators, color of different indicator in different medium. And there are colored compounds as well. Then the flame test, you have to memorize certain flame colors. We start with uh, our first topic with, from electrochemistry. So in this question, silver chloride is an ionic compound and is insoluble in water. Molten silver chloride break down during electrolysis. The product are chlorine and silver because if you have a molten uh, silver chloride, so if you have molten silver chloride means it contain Ag, it contains Cl. Ag is plus one, Cl is minus one. So when we pass the current, uh, the silver ions are positive ions, so they are attracted towards the cathode, and the chlorides are are the negative ions. They are attracted towards the anode. So silver metal will be there, and the chlorine yellowish green gas will be given. So shiny solid and yellowish green gas. A student uh, suggests using the apparatus shown in uh, breaking down a silver chloride. So you can see. This is the, what student uh, draw the apparatus like shown. Draw an arrow on the diagram to show where the heat must be supplied. So we, where we should supply the heat energy. You can use the screen annotation to complete. So we should supply heat energy from the bottom. Any one, like one arrow is enough to show that heat energy supply. <clears throat> Then the next one, complete the diagram to show how the chlorine gas can be collected and the volume of a chlorine measured. So what we have to do, we have to, we have to connect a gas syringe here. So there must be a gas syringe and that's good, you, Rafi, that you mentioned the labels as well, like, because we want to measure the gas volume. So there will be a gas syringe with a piston there and we connect, we know, just measure how much gas is given up. So we have to connect a gas syringe. The next part, uh, give two observations that are made as a silver chloride breakdown. What we will observe? You can use your mic or a chat to state the answer. What will the observation when the silver chloride is breakdown? Uh, shiny solid uh, yeah. forms. Shiny solid and yellowish green gas. Good. You can mention uh, yellowish green gas, Chinese silver, gray metal, or you can mention uh, bubbles or effervescence. Also, you can mention. So here you can mention shiny solid and the yellowish green gas. In part D, the person doing this experiment followed all the normal left safety rules. State one additional safety precaution that students should take. Look, whenever a toxic gas is given off, whenever, a, as you can see, yes, uh, Mohammed Ashraf. Uh, so, Mr. in fume cupboard, because the chlorine gas is uh, toxic. toxic. So, as you can see, it's given in the question a toxic gas is given off. So whenever a toxic gas is given off, we'll use a fume copper. So they ask, uh, save the safety precautions. So what should be the safety precaution? We'll use a fume copper. And what is the reason for that? The reason is the chlorine is toxic. So whenever a gas is toxic, you will, any gas which is toxic, 
we will carry out in a few couple. So just one reason why the zinc is not suitable material to use as electrode, like why we use inert electrode, why not zinc? What might be a reason for that? So zinc is not inert, that's good. It is active electrode or it, it react. Uh, you can mention any as an answer. You can mention zinc react with chlorine or as it can react, it's reactive. So <clears throat> any answer is acceptable, like zinc is, re zinc re even if you write it react, that is also the right answer. It's like it's given an idea that uh, it's a reactive metal. So zinc react or reactive metal, that's why we don't use. The next one, the chlorine gas was bubbled into aqueous solution of a sodium salt. So there's a sodium salt and we bubble the chlorine gas. So the solution changes from colorless to orange. Identify the sodium salt. Look, basically it's a displacement reaction. Remember the color changes. If a chlorine is bubbled, we can bubble chlorine through a sodium salt, like example, if it is sodium bromide, NaBr. So if we bubble the sodium uh, chlorine gas through sodium bromide, as a result, a displacement reaction, chlorine is more reactive, so it will produce sodium chloride, NaCl, plus Br2. So what is the observation here? The sodium bromide is colorless, does not have any color, but bromine is... Uh, when it is formed in the solution, it is orange or brown. So the colorless turn into orange. So what is this sodium salt? This sodium salt is sodium bromide. And what is the reason explanation? Because chlorine is more reactive. As a chlorine more reactive than bromine, so it will displace the bromine out from the compound. If it was a if or if it was a iodide salt, like it was sodium iodide, then the color change will be different. Like if we bubble the chlorine gas to sodium iodide, NaI. In that case, this, this equation should be balanced here too. So in that case, what will happen? It will produce sodium chloride, NaCl, plus iodine molecule. So what will be the appearance of this solution? If iodine molecule is formed, this will be yellow in color. So if the same question they mentioned that when we bubble chlorine gas through a sodium salt solution and it changes from orange to yellow, in that case, it will be sodium iodide. But because it's from, uh, it's from color, so like if they mentioned, it changes from colorless to yellow, then it will be sodium iodide. It changes from colorless to orange, it means it is Bromine. Is it uh, clear the first question from electrochemistry? Yes, sir, clear. Yes. 